Have you ever wondered how a single painting can encapsulate a story that transcends time? How each brushstroke contributes to a narrative that unfolds right before your eyes? Welcome to the world of Robert Campin's The Marodi Altarpiece, a 15th century masterpiece that's as intriguing as it is beautiful. The Marodi Altarpiece, crafted with precision and elegance, is a triptych, a painting divided into three sections. It's a visual narrative that unfolds like a compelling book, each panel a chapter teeming with symbolism and meaning. In the left panel, we encounter two donors, kneeling in devout prayer. Their humble attire and pious expressions are a testament to their faith. They gaze into the central panel, where the pivotal moment of the Annunciation takes place. Here we see the Archangel Gabriel, resplendent in his celestial attire, delivering the news of the Immaculate Conception to Mary. Mary, dressed in a simple blue robe, humbly accepts her divine role. The right panel introduces us to Joseph, the carpenter, engrossed in his work, oblivious to the divine intervention happening a panel away. The mousetrap in the right panel, crafted by Joseph, signifies the trap that will catch the devil, as foretold in the prophecy. Campin's painting is a tapestry of symbolism. The lilies in the central panel represent Mary's purity, while the extinguished candle symbolizes the presence of God. But it's not just the symbolism that makes this painting a marvel. It's the depiction of everyday life in the 15th century, the meticulous attention to detail, and the use of light and shadow that brings the painting to life. So what does this all mean? The Marodi altarpiece is a perfect example of how art narrates stories. It's a visual representation of a pivotal moment in Christian theology, captured with attention to detail and symbolism. It's a window into the past, a glimpse into the lives of people from the 15th century, and a testament to the beauty of storytelling through art. In this video, we've delved into the narrative woven into the Marodi altarpiece. We've explored the symbolism, the depiction of everyday life in the 15th century, and the artistic techniques employed by Robert Campin. We've seen how a painting can tell a story, how each brushstroke contributes to a narrative, and how art can transcend time. Art is a language that speaks to us through color, form, and composition. It tells stories that words often can't capture. As we step away from the Marodi altarpiece, we carry with us the story it tells, the emotions it evokes, and the glimpse into a world long past. And isn't that the beauty of art? It's a story that stays with us long after we've moved on.